Okay, for example, if you have a, uh, it's better to create a shape, for example, grid. As you can see, I have a grid like this that I will use it a lot in some other tools. For example, uh, oops, sorry for that. <clears throat> Control Z, the shape, just click and drag. It take time to draw. As you can see, we have the grid point, uh, the grid shape that's very important. Uh, if you want to move a lot of point at once, you have to use a magnet. This is a magnet tool. As you can see, if you come over the shape, it's clicking. Uh, click somewhere, click somewhere to deselect everything. As you can see, this is our magnet tool. Because of background, you cannot see that. Um, you can go to the edit preferences, the background layer. Mm. Make it a little bit more darker now. You can see better. This is our brush. As I said before, for controlling brush, you have to Alt and uh, click and drag to the left and right. And as you can see with a magnet tool, here you can change the brush radius in its settings. You can select a lot of point at once or bigger point. Nice. And as you can see, these points are selected and you can choose selected point only. And as you can see, it does not select other point, just selected point. It's it's useful sometimes. Or you can alt and for example, you want to this point. This tool is very useful for adjusting the uh, shape of the our animation character or anything that we use a lot in future. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.